So this is something I wanted to do for a while. Over on Instagram, people ask me so many questions about how I live as a witch, how I actually have this as a full-time business, how I'm talking to the dead, how I'm doing rituals, and there's so many questions. So I thought I would start this new regular story time where I'm going to share with you some of my experiences I've had with spirit, some of, my, some of my experiences of just who I am being a witch. So this story starts on a summer's afternoon. I was in a different village at the time in Cornwall and one of the people that um, was living in the village came up to me who we've never spoken before and we've been living there for quite a while and this person said, oh, there is going to be a woman's circle held here this evening. Would you like to come? And I thought, oh, that's that's a bit weird how someone's just jumped out and asked me if I'd like to attend because he doesn't even know what I do or who I am or whether I'd be interested in anything like that. So me being me, I took that as a big sign from the universe that, Emma, you need to go. So I said yes. But later that evening, I turned up really anxious because I was on my own. I hadn't done anything like this for a very long time. And I didn't know anybody in that circle. There's quite a few women there. I think there was about over 30, 40 women in this space. As I walked up into this venue, which was outside, there was this big marquee, the head witch, was so welcoming, so lovely, and um, invited me into the space and we started the circle. We interacted with each other, we became this beautiful sisterhood, we walked around while there was lots of drumming going on and connected to each other, we shared stories, we sat by the fire, we shared our intentions and we were held in this beautiful sisterhood and everything was witnessed and it was safe. It was really, really nice and it reminded me of, yes, this is who I am and this reminded me of my home. It fully brought me back to myself and it was really needed at that time because it was very stressful in my life in that time during that summer. Now, during this women's circle, there's a woman to my left. When we started the circle, this woman sat with me by the fire and she was talking to me, she told me where she lived, she lived in another village in Cornwall. She seemed really, really lovely, really, really interesting. But she was really looking at me deep in my eyes, deep into my soul. We were guided through a lovely meditation, which was a journey meditation to go to a different place to remember something. When I opened my eyes, I turned to this lady on my left, and she was gone. And then everything seemed to go really, really fast. I think, I can't remember now what actually happened. I think we were sharing what we were experiencing, so I couldn't really focus on why she wasn't there. And then we got up, and then we were dancing, there was drumming, and we went to move out of the venue into the garden. Then that troubled me, because in the garden, I was looking around all the women, and I was thinking, where is this lady gone? Where has she completely disappeared to? Because I need to say goodbye or I need to get her details so we can meet up for a coffee or something. I went back into the venue, looked around, couldn't even see her cushion, couldn't even see her coat or her journal or her drum that she bought. Everything was gone that was next to me on the left. So went outside didn't think much of it, just thought, oh, maybe she just felt uncomfortable and left. After the ceremony came to a close, we were having like this social gathering part and we were just talking, getting to know each other. And I turned to the lady who was holding this circle and said, where was the lady who is next to me? And <laughs> this lady looked really shocked and really puzzled. And she said, well, what, what does she look like? And I said, oh, she was wearing this red jumper. She had brown colour hair, she was about 35 to 40, she was really nice and her name was Jill. And she said, oh, there wasn't a Jill, there wasn't a lady like that, she didn't come. So I thought, oh, this, this is really, really strange because normally if I see the dead, it 
it's not normally when I see the dead it's not as intense as that so then I realized this woman was actually a ghost a spirit and obviously she was drawn to this space to the woman's circle because she wanted to be around this energy around like-minded women and within that space and she obviously just latched on to me because she knew that I would communicate to her. Now sometimes when I work with spirits or ghosts or things like that, they don't appear as intense and as real as that. A couple of times in my life this has happened, which I probably will share you more of these things, but it was just a magical moment that I won't ever forget because I made this wonderful friend who was actually this lovely spirit who just came to this woman's circle as my companion and as my supporter and rock and just held me through the space.